What is the largest number? When we learn to count first to ten, then to a hundred, and then more and more, we feel like numbers never end. What's the largest existing number? The numbers were invented to count stuff. How many cows do I have? How many steps to get to a place? Although it seemed like there were uncountable things, actually we just need patience and intelligence to count anything. The number of visible stars on a clear night? Around 2500. How long ago did the first hominid lived outside of Africa? One million years, which is a thousand times a thousand. The same number of neurons on a cockroach's brain. Ugh. The amount of people in the world? A bit over 7 billion. How many distinct odors can a human nose smell? One trillion. That's one million millions. All the cells on the human body? 37 trillion. And microbes? 100 trillion. How many stars are there in the universe? No, not movie stars, but real stars. 70 sextillion, a 7 with 22 zeros. Scientists shortened these numbers to make calculations easier. The amazing thing is that no matter how big the number is, we can always imagine a bigger one. For example, adding zeros. The 9-year-old nephew of mathematician Edward Kastner called this huge number Google, a 1 followed by a hundred zeros. The number is bigger than the amount of particles in the universe. It can count absolutely every existing thing and it even has numbers to spare. Except for quantities like the amount of possible combinations on this seven-phase Rubik's Cube. Can we imagine a bigger number? Well, yes. Imagine multiplying 10 times 10 a Google of times. You would get the Googleplex, a number so big that it would be impossible to write down. Because there isn't enough paper or space in the universe to fit that amount of zeros, and it would take you more time to do it than the age of the cosmos. And if we add one to that number? To understand those ideas, mathematicians invented the concept of infinity. That means no limits. It's not a specific amount, but instead a direction, a possibility. The concept of infinity creates some very peculiar situations. We can surely say that there isn't a number greater than the rest, but that natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are infinite. However, even numbers, though they seem like just half, are also infinite. If we match every natural number with an even one, we'll see that the groups are equal. In the same way, we can say that the number of people in a room equals the number of chairs if everyone is seated, even if we don't know how many people there are. This situation was imagined by mathematician George Cantor. Cantor like singer in Spanish, but no, we're not talking about Jorge Negrete, but George Cantor, the creator of the set theory. Another situation to think about regarding the infinite is not to think big, but to go small. How many times is it possible to divide a line? Between 0 and 1, there's an infinite number of decimals, so the infinite number of decimals is a bigger set than the infinite natural numbers. Some questions are even absurd. How much is infinity minus 1? Is it less than infinite? Those cases make a lot of mathematicians say that these amounts are not real numbers, but surreal numbers, or more like concepts that should not be treated as numbers. By the way, maybe the biggest number ever conceived is not the Googleplex, but another called Rayos number. It was thought of by Agustin Rayo, a Mexican who's not a mathematician, but a philosopher. Curiosamente.